The U.S. Marine veteran who was released in a prisoner swap with Russia last year was injured while fighting in Ukraine. Trevor Reed is now being treated in a German hospital, and Weijia Zhang reports from the White House. CBS News has learned that Trevor Reed suffered a concussion and lacerations while fighting in eastern Ukraine two weeks ago. U.S. officials are upset that Reed, a Marine veteran who was detained in Russia for three years, would risk being recaptured and stressed that he was not engaging in activities on behalf of the U.S. government. We have warned that U.S. citizens who travel to Ukraine, especially with the purpose of participating in fighting there, uh, that they face significant risks, including the risk of capture or death. In 2019, Reed was arrested in Russia, accused of assault, and then released last year as part of a prisoner swap for a Russian drug trafficker, a deal that President Biden brokered. Reed was released before Paul Whelan, another American who has been detained in Russia since 2018. His brother David said, I can't imagine the anger, vengeance and grief that hostages must feel. Some U.S. officials are worried Reed's actions could hurt efforts to bring Whelan and Evan Gershkovich, a Wall Street Journal reporter detained since March, back home. The team is committed. The president continues to be committed to do everything that we can, to go down every avenue that we can to get Paul and Evan home. And Weijia Zhang joins me now from the White House. Weijia, what comes next for Trevor Reed? Well, John, he continues to recover at that hospital in Germany, and it's unclear when he could return to the U.S. What we do know is that the U.S. made very clear that they could not help evacuate him or other Americans from Ukraine, so he actually got out of that country with the help of a non-governmental organization. We also know that he was expected to begin classes at Georgetown University next month, but of course that is all up in the air as he uh, recovers and makes his way back home. And what could this all mean for the two Americans currently detained in Russia, if it means anything at all? Well, the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, insists that they are separate cases from Trevor Reed's, and they should be treated as such. But it's not up to the U.S. to decide how they will be treated, right? Because Russia has a say in this, and we don't have reassurances from them that Trevor Reed's actions will not impact uh, the negotiations that are ongoing to get Paul Whelan back home, as well as Evan Gershkovich, that Wall Street Journal reporter. But the the White House does insist that the president is doing everything he can uh, to bring both of those men back home. John. Weijia Zhang at the White House. Thank you. Sure.